Hello. I wanted to share something a little bit vulnerable today, but I hope it may be helpful for people who maybe are raising money for their businesses right now or thinking about raising money. Um, I have been raising money. Uh, I've The first time I went to raise money for one of my businesses was back in 2010, and I'm now on my fifth time raising money, and this has been definitely the hardest one in a lot of ways because um, the amount of money that I need to raise is rather high <laughs> and there have been just lots of ups and downs in the process and it's taking a while um, and I just feel so strongly that the process of raising money has kind of a lot of spiritual aspects to it um, and so I feel like I've kind of I've been listening to a lot of different teachers uh, spiritual teachers um, to help me get through the hard times when it feels like, oh my God, this is so hard. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Maybe I should give up. Um, and one thing that I just wanted to share is that um, sometimes when things feel really, really hard, you may um, want to pay attention to what uh, to to signs that you're getting, to to messages that are coming to you. Um, so one thing I've noticed, so I'm raising money um, for a project in Baltimore, and sometimes I wonder, like, should I just give up? It's taking so long. It's so hard. There's so many twists and turns in the road. Um, and then, like, I'll see something that mentions Baltimore. <laughs> Like right at the time when I'm having like a crisis of faith, um, I remember seeing, I was watching the Democratic National Convention uh, and I saw like in the background, someone was speaking and right behind them was someone wearing a shirt that said Baltimore Strong. And these things happen all the time. And I know this might sound woo woo and I'm definitely not, not one to, um, you know, I, I was raised to be very rationalist and logical, but I really am coming to believe that, you know, paying attention to signs can be really, really helpful <laughs> when you're kind of wondering, like, am I on the right path? And another thing that happened that just made me really, really wonder, like, what is the universe up to? Is there stuff going on that we just can't explain? So, I w I've been raising money for this project for a while, and we got to a point where we had to raise a large amount of money in a short time because we had actually overextended ourselves and um, incurred costs that we did not have the money to pay for. And the person that we owed the money to was getting close to filing a lien against our building. Um, which would have been really bad, you know, like it just would have felt like such a defeat. You know, we probably would have just had to let him take the building because we wouldn't have, we didn't have enough money to pay him. He's our general, he's our general contractor for the building that we're working on. And um, there was, you know, a deadline where he was like, if I don't get the money by this day, I'm filing a lien. And I think the amount we needed was like $250,000 or something like that. And, um, you know, I started just kind of saying, you know, we're going to get the money. We're going to get the money. And I just started reaching out to everyone I could think of and just trying to have faith and not panic. Um, and something I didn't feel panicked. Something just told me we're going to get the money. And amazingly enough, on the very last day before he was about to put a lien on the building, I, the, all the money came in. So um, it was funny because he actually did send notices that he was going to file a lien. But I was like, we already, you know, we have the money. We're giving you the money. Don't file the lien. So and that's why I said in a previous video, I said sometimes the urgency with which you have to raise money can affect how quickly you have to raise money. I mean, I've never raised $250,000 so fast. It was like a couple weeks. Um and so anyway, I'm just staying really open minded about what this is all about. And uh, I just wanted to share, you know, don't um, 
if it's right for you, you know, everyone has different beliefs and different things that may support them in their journey, but it's been really helpful for me to just be open to the, the notion that um, there may be more going on in terms of the energy of the universe than we totally know about and that science can explain and, and just be open to that if it's helpful for you. All right. Bye.